Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Andre and today we are making sausages but we're making jalapeno cheddar sausages. I've done most of the grunt work already. I've got boneless pork butt, I've got belly trim, and I was gonna use beef trim, I didn't have any, but I had some ground beef in the freezer and it's a great way to use stuff up. So this is there. Let's just get the grinder set up and get it all ground. Okay, we got this grinder all set up. I had to elevate it because it's just too short. Anyways, we're gonna grind all that pork into the beef and then add the spices. But we're also gonna re-grind it because I want everything really, really mixed in. And double grinding it helps with the whole mixing so you don't really have to mix it as much. It makes it easier. Got all that done and now let's add the spices. But. Like always, I will list everything I've done below, so not to bore you with all the particulars right now, but everything will be listed below. I am using pickling salt or salt with cure. Just got all the spices in here. I am using a little bit of rice flour just to help bind everything. Anyways, the jalapenos, I didn't dice them. I took the little fruit processor and made them into little chunks because I want them throughout the whole sausage mix really well. And I didn't really want to dice them. Last but not least, the water. Now we're just going to mix this really quick and then we're going to grind this whole batch again, which will take a little bit of time. It smells great so far though. There we go. I'm gonna grind that again. Okay, got that grinding done. Looks great. Still needs to get mixed a little bit, but before I forget, we're gonna add all that cheese. And I'm using a white cheddar. I just want to be different and I don't, I'm not a fan of orange cheddar. So here we go. Now if you do this, got nice binding there, sticking, great. Just gonna keep mixing it just a little bit longer. And then we're gonna get the stuffer ready. The stuffer's all put together. Now we're just gonna fill the, the hopper here. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But what you wanna do is put some in and pack it down. You wanna get out as many air bubbles as possible. There we go. I got some left over there. I'm gonna stuff all this out first and then get to that. Put that down, put the guard down. Take the end of the casing, open it up, and put some water through. It just flushes it, but it also makes it easier to put on the horn. Uh, I've had the casings soaking for at least an hour. And now just this part, finally found the end, that's good. Try and keep the work area as clean as we can keep it. We're gonna just tie a knot in the end. And then what you do is you take your one hand and put it around the horn because you wanna create some back pressure and stuff the casings fairly tight. And just like this, away we go. And then every so often, pull it closer. There we go. And just like that, we're done the first strand. I like to stuff it out this way and then twist them. And what I'm gonna do 
pinch there and pinch there. So essentially when you twist, you're creating two. And there again, fold it over, pinch, pinch, twist, twist. There we go. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this and then stuff out the, the rest. Well, as you can see, we got that all done. Beautiful, they look great. I'm gonna let them sit here for a few minutes. I'm gonna go start the smoker, and in that time, nothing's gonna happen to these. They're still nice and cold. They're not gonna be here very long, so don't worry, because they're going straight into the smoker to get smoked and brought up to temperature. By the way, these are a 2932 casing, a hog casing if you're wondering, but I'll list that below too. They look great, I can't wait to try them. And hello, hello bedroom cam. Mother nature couldn't have held off. So anyways, we're gonna get these all loaded in here. We're gonna space them out a bit so they don't touch. We don't want any bald spots on it. One. And number three. Three sticks of beautiful sausages. The smoker's at around 200. And uh, they're probably gonna need 45 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna come back in about uh, 45 minutes just to check on them. Welcome back everybody. It's uh, still raining and that's why you're, you've got the bedroom cam going and let's just take a look. Woo! Oh, they're looking good. Not long enough though. It's just almost an hour. I'm keeping it around 200. Mm. Another 25, 30 minutes and they should be done. Okay, they got up to temperature and uh, they look fantastic. I'm just gonna take a couple to try. Leave those there, but what we need to do is put some ice on these and cold water because you wanna stop that cooking. Now we're just gonna fill this up now. You guys ready? I'm ready. So I'm gonna cut one lengthways. And show, oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Can you see that? All that cheese in there. Little flecks of jalapeno, they are in there. Just, uh, I really want the taste in there though. Mm. with cheese that tastes great that is fantastic that cheese I'd never used this cheese before but it's uh, nice and melty tastes really good in here it's got a nice spice to it it's not hot I didn't make it hot I probably should have but I want it that 80% of the people will eat it, not the 20%, because to make it hot is easy. To make it taste good or great takes skill. And I think I've done it here. It's got great color. Can't stop eating it. Looks fantastic. Probably the only thing I would do I took half the seeds out of the half of the jalapenos. I'd probably leave all the seeds in just to give it that little extra bite, which wouldn't even be that much. But tastes great though. This is a winner. I love it. Looks good, smells good. They have great color on them. I'm over the moon with these. These are awesome. Well guys, this is a winner. Uh, I'm very happy with how this one turned out. Like I said before, all the ingredients and everything, I'll list them below exactly what I did for this batch. Feel free to try it, play with it, you know, let me know. 
And I'm gonna go stuff my face now. Not on camera. Thanks for watching, show some support, hit that like and subscribe, and like always, leave me some comments. Uh, I have a lot more flavors I'm gonna be playing with this, this summer with sausages, so just hang on for those. Again, thanks for watching and happy eating.